Hey folks, in this video we are going to make use of the folder tool in Moodle. So first and foremost, we always want to turn our edit mode on, and then once we're in the course, we go down to where we want to add that folder. And typically when we talk about folders, we're talking about uh, if you have a bunch of uh, documents that you want to share, rather than uploading each one or um, trying to link each one within the course, you actually want to come in and you're going to select this icon here and of course you can always select the little I, uh, icon right here and find out more information. But let's add the folder. Uh, so we're going to give it a title which I'm just going to call week one readings. Uh, a description, especially in this case of when you're using folders, you might want to provide some information about what they're about to read, how much, of, you know, how many pages, etc. Um, to give them a sense, uh, you might give some context, etc. So, um, you know, these readings will cover X. They should take you about X amount of time. Whatever you want to put there. Um, then we come down to the content. Um, as usual, you can drag or drop your stuff in, or you can select items. I'm going to drag and drop, and it, I would say, particularly if you're doing a folder, you always want to make sure you have more than one file, and I typically will have them all just kind of ready in a folder, or in a folder on my desktop that I can um, highlight, drag, and just drop right in. So you see those upload pretty quickly, pretty easily. Um, the other thing I want to mention, and I didn't do it here, is make sure your your article or your, your file titles are very clear in what they are. Uh, typically, if they are written uh, if they are written documents, I encourage having the author's last name, you know, a space, a dash, another space, and then a title or abbreviated title. Uh, you really want to make sure students can clearly see and understand what it is they're downloading. I've seen plenty of times where like the article name is just a bunch of gobbledygook. Um, really try to make it clear. It's really helpful to students um, so they know what they're downloading. They can easily find it once they download and that it's just right there in front of them. Um, so a couple different options here. You can have display on a separate page or in line on a course. I do lean towards on a separate page. We'll do inline right now just so you can see what it looks like, but typically it makes the page, if you're using folders a lot, it's gonna make your pages much longer. So having them in a folder in a page is, is particularly helpful. Um, so again, you can have a couple of options here. Show subfolders expanded. That is the they default to being expanded. I encourage that because sometimes it can be overseen. Show download folder button. This is important. This allows them to download all of them at once rather than having to download one after the other. Uh, and then this option is um, it requires the downloading of files instead of opening them up. And if you have uh, them looking at HTML files or other things that could open in browser, this defaults to just creating them to download it rather than opening it. And there, there's some security considerations around there. Um, so if we are using the inline on a course page, then the activity complete feature, we either allow students to mark manually or do not indicate any activity completion because it shows up on the page. And uh, if it shows up on the, the main page, then they can't really view it. So we're going to leave that as it is, and then we're going to do save and return to course. So this is how it shows up in the course. Even if we go to edit mode, we will see, you know, it's a little bit bulky. Um, and if you have several other things in this particular module, it can kind of just build up the page or make the page a little bit bigger than we want. So let's go back into edit mode and let's go into edit settings. And let's just come down to the setting and change it to on a separate page. We change it to on a separate page. We can also adjust the activity completion to uh, students complete activity when conditions are met. They must uh, view the activity. So we're going to hit save and actually just hit save and display so we can see it. We'll go right into it. So as we see here, um, I'll turn edit mode off. 
as we see, you know, we have, oh, you know, this is the activity. Here's that, that description that I was mentioning. And then here are the documents. So again, I can click on any one of these or I can just hit download folder to download all of them as a zip file. And when I go back to the main page, notice it shows me under topic one, uh, that's the folder, that's the name, I can just go right into it. So I hope this is useful, it gives you some ideas about how to use the folder. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you.